All right, Esper Greasefang. Why are we playing this today? I don't know. I was looking through Goldfish. I didn't really know what to play. I feel like we've uh, kind of hit a stopping point on a lot of the decks that we've been working on, like Enigmatic, uh, Red Green Votes, some other decks that I don't really usually play, like Lotus Field, Mono Green Devotion. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of innovation happening with regards to the already existing decks. So this is kind of a, you know, the Grease Fang is one of the tier one decks, but this is a slightly different take on it where we have forego, we are foregoing the green cards, mostly Asika's Chariot, Seder Wayfinder, and uh, Grizzly Salvage. We've replaced Salvage and Wayfinder with Evangel of Synthesis and Tainted Indulgence, and we've replaced uh, Chariot mostly, for the most part, with Rafine. Um, Rafine is a powerful card. It's not, I don't know if it's necessarily better than Chariot in, you know, because Chariot you can get back with Grease Fang. But Rafine is a lot better, I think, in games where you don't have Grease Fang. Um, it's cheaper, it's a little bit harder to kill, it has some evasion, gets you deeper into your deck, helps you find your Grease Fangs and Parhelions if that's what you're missing. And um, Evangel kind of goes alongside that too, because like Evangel plus Rafine, the fact that you can make the Evangel bigger, Rafine triggers Evangel and it gives it Menace. So you can kind of make this, like, big-ish, evasive-type creature. And then Indulgence, more ways to bin Barhelion. Uh, Obscura Charm is kind of cool, because one of the modes is to return, I think it's a multicolored permanent, with a mana value 3 or less. So it gets back Grease Fang if you, like, you know, discard it or it dies. That's kind of cool. And, yeah, I mean, just the, the usual suspects for Grease Fang, Informant, Fatal Push, Thoughtseize, a couple Can't Stay Aways. Not as many Can't Stay Aways here because we're not playing Grizzly Salvage and Wayfinder, so we're not, like, turbo milling our deck. The Abzan version plays four copies of this, but it's not as good in our deck. And then uh, a couple copies of Spell Pierce, too. And then Sideboard, our kind of, like, plan B is Shieldred plus Watering Emperor. That's kind of how you attack the really heavy graveyard decks. And then we have Hearse for the Mirror, Needle for Monogreen, Fracture duress a go blank and then two disdainable strokes so there you go what's up panda 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 that song's been stuck in my head ever since last night so all right play first okay a playable hand a playable seven i should say we have not really had very many playable seven so far so feels good to keep seven cards yeah they'll also tank for four minutes too even if their hand's perfect they still tank like, even, even if their hand is the Stone Cold Nuts, they still have to think about it. It's just how control players are. Like, three land, absorb, sensor, memory, deluge, wandering emperor, and they'll sit there for, like, five minutes and be like, uh... Uh... Okay, keep. Cave is pretty cringe. Play any spell and you're dead. Well, not that spell. Damn it. <laughs> That's not what I meant when I said any spell. I think I just have the Skyclave. I can't. I just, I can't. Uh... Okay. Back for three. They go to nine. Go. Probably have Coco. They always do. Yeah. Remain facing it. Oh, they just have two spells. Oh, I have push for that. Yeah, get out of here. Then we can boat the Skyclave. No, we probably boat the Valkyrie, right? Yeah, we just go land boat the Valk. The Valk is just scarier. There are three. We have a Sky Sovereign console flagship, along with a Fatal Push. I feel advantageous. I think we are ahead. Only only slightly, though. And they don't have Coco, because they would have just cast it last turn. I guess they could have Kayla's. Shocking to one. Valk Valk, huh? At four? So they still lose to Rafine, right? Blue, white, black... Crew with these two. Combat. Attack. Boat kills Skycleave. And then Rafine target Evangel. Discard. Yeah, that makes this four power. And then we can also Fatal Push the Velk. 
All right, Dedge. Extra Dedge. All right, so last time we boarded in Fracture. We didn't like Duress, did we? We just wanted to cut Can't Stay Away for, can't stay away for Fracture. I think I still don't like the Charm on the draw. I'm going to do one Duress on the draw. We'll do, we'll do Charm on the play. Rafine's been really good for me. Every time I cast that card, it's so impressive. It just feels like the rest of the deck that I'm playing is always bad. You know? Like, we tried that Dono deck that one time. Like, I don't even know if this is the best shelf or, like, this is the best. Like, we need, we need to find a way to make a good Rafine deck, because that card is cracked in half. It's just every time I play with a card, the rest of my cards are just bad. So how do we make a good Rafine deck? It was good in Rogues, yeah, that's true. It was decent in Rogues. <clears throat> Rafine... What's I don't know the name of it. It's Rafine something. Rafine something something. Scheming Seer. Scheming all over the place. Scheme, scheme. Scheme, scheme, motherfucker. Didn't play Needle on turn one, huh? I'll take it. I'm only taking it because I have the Grease Fang. <laughs> yeah, the Frozen Pea. He drew that. I guess I should Indulgence here, right? Yeah, I should hold up Indulgence. Just digs deeper. We consider putting Rafine in a deck that's just good cards and Esper colors. Like, kind of like the standard Esper mid-range decks, yeah. Like, just trying to port the standard decks into, into Pioneer. We could try something like that. Like, what are what would you consider good Esper cards? Like, Shredder and stuff? No, I mean, Monastery Mentor is nice, but it's just more three drops. You don't want to do stuff like that. But, like, you could just play Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Treasure Cruise, Ledger Shredder. Those cards are all great. The thing about Rafine is you really want creatures to play on turn one and turn two to make it better, you know? But I guess Shredder is that card. I might just discard my fourth land. Then we can go... Okay, that's good. Now I can go Inform and hold up Spell Pierce. Yeah, we can go Inform and hold up Pierce or Push. I guess the issue is they're just going to hold up Coco, and we can't, unless we draw an untapped land, we can't Grease Fang and Pierce. I could try to bait the Coco. Wait, I'm going to make a five-head play. They're probably just not going to play into it, but I'm going to end-step the push. All right, well, it didn't matter anyways. <laughs> it's too easy, you know? It is way too easy. They pressed F6. Well, yeah, I mean, they're probably supposed to cast the, the Coco there, but see, the thing about casting the Coco when, the, when I'm tapped out is they want to be able to hit Skyclave, right? So if they cast the Coco on their on their end step, they can't hit Skyclave. So it's not even clear that they're supposed to cast it there. I mean, now they just lose the game instead, but... Alright, Phoenix. Uh, sand kind of sucks. Really good if I draw lands, but... How many lands are we playing, by the way? Curious. 21's a little low. We probably should play 22. This is happening a lot. I just keep Rafine's Informant plus Rafine. I guess. Go. Scoop this game pretty quickly. I hate Grease Fang so much because I lost final FNM humans and I'm going to switch to Blue Eye Control. <laughs> nice. Yeah, Grease Fang is not like the best play experience, but. Alright, we got a song request. In the queue, just for you. Okay, good draw. Kind of. I'm just going to discard a tap land. I'm not winning this game with a tap land. Also not winning this game with the second copy of Rafina. Humans is a terrible matchup. Humans versus Grease Fang? Yeah, it's not great. Because you also can't race them. Really. I guess if you have turn 2 Thalia... You can make them, you can, like, stop them from playing, um, like, Grizzly Salvage for a turn, but that also doesn't work if they just have Cedar Wayfinder. Uh, I guess this one. Time for the backup deck? Oh, not yet. <clears throat> You build your human's deck to play Giant Killer, which is a decent answer to Grease Fang. Yeah, exactly. And that's also three mana, which just doesn't even work when you're on the draw, right? I think in order to have a chance as the human's player, you just have to play for Rest in Peace. That's like your only, that's like your only out. 
Hmm. They only have eight cards in their hand. Surely we can still win this game, right? Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. I'm all set up. Sure would like to not mull the four. That'd be cool. I like Can't Stay Away. Spell Pierce, I think, is dog shit. And the charm's pretty bad. I don't think I want to bring in the Shieldred Wandering Emperor stuff. Although, maybe I want Shieldred. I don't like Emperor against Pierce, but Shieldred could be nice. Got Vanishing Verse. It's just, like, extremely mana inefficient. And I like Push because it kills both Thing in the Ice and Shredder. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do this. I like this. Yeah, Rafine with Shieldred is nice. We should try to just build, like, an Esper mid-range deck. Just, like, Rafine plus good cards. And not be, like, not trying to soup, like, synergize around Rafine, right? Just playing because it's a good card. Rafine, Thoughties, Push, Cruise. Because you have Rafine and Shredder, which both fuel Cruise, along with all of your one drops. It doesn't even sound that bad. Okay, this sounds, this sounds good. I don't like Verse for Phoenix. My theory behind removal spells that exile against Phoenix is if they're putting Phoenixes into play, you've likely already gotten to a point where you've lost the game. So I don't generally, especially in a deck like this, I don't generally like that philosophy. Like, imagine a scenario where they where they have a Phoenix in play, and you haven't already, like, done a ton of things. This is actually close, whether to hold up Indulgence or play Hearse. Um, I think I'm just going to pass. But, like, by the time they're getting a Phoenix into play, it's turn four. And if you've gotten to turn four without doing anything meaningful, like putting a Park Healing into play, you've probably already lost anyways. That's at least, like, my theory behind it. I had the wrong land, but I don't think it matters. Playing it out, huh? Song's good. Posted my thought for the leaked card and like in the spoilers channel with the spoiler tags so it's blurred out. Gotcha. I'll look real quick. Oh. Alright, it's kinda nice. <clears throat> What's up, Sphexus? We have double Phoenix? Oh my god. Wait, we might actually lose this game. What the fuck? We might actually lose this game. Hold up. Huh? Holy shit. What the fuck just happened? Oh, holy shit. It cantrip mill phoenix, axe discard phoenix, axe discard... What the fuck? Jesus Christ. I've seen a draw like that before. Alright, well, I guess I'll cast this. Two cards in hand. I should attack first, right? Because if they double block with phoenixes, I can just eat them with hearse. And if they block with Shredder Phoenix, I'll just trade for Shredder. I think this is good for me. Yeah, you get the trigger Shredder. I don't give a shit. Well, the thing about my turn three is it required a lot less cards. You know, they had to have, like, double Axe, double Phoenix. <laughs> and I just needed a Grease Fang. I guess I need a Grease Fang and a Parhelion, but you know what I mean? Like, their, their turn three was way more unlikely than my turn three, if that makes sense. Okay. It's fine by me. I do have a three five. All right. Check by Phoenixes. Can go Indulgence first, I think. Yeah, let's go Indulgence first. It's not bad. I kind of don't want to turn on... I don't want to trigger their Shredders, though. I think I'm just going to discard a Thoughtseize. I just, like, not play a spell this turn? Is that weird? Then I could just play Shieldred next turn. Just don't play Thoughtseize. I think that's fine. I really don't want to give them two loots. Yeah, I'm just going to pass. If they didn't block out Odawara from one of them and block the other. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I don't... If they... If they... Oh, I could. I guess I could have Odawara the Shredder. I see what you're saying. Shielded then Informant is good though. Oh yeah, no, I see what you're saying. Oh, wait, Shielded into three Knives? <laughs> wait, they're just dead, right? They're actually just dead to their own Shredders. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> yeah, not a May, right? Love not a May. In my opinion, what is the best I can pioneer right now? I think the answer is probably Rakdos mid-range. I think it's just the most flexible. 
most flexible, most powerful, you know. Yeah, I give him the jewel. Nice shredders. I could play Grease Fang, but this is way more fun. I actually just thought he's them, right? Yeah, I don't think it matters. I want to screenshot this. This is a nice. This is a nice moto screenshot. <laughs> Always yield. You die to your own triggers. They can't even upkeep axe because they only have one card in hand. I guess they could have a bounce spell? Like upkeep Odawara maybe? Is that their only out? I think it's their only out. Let's see if they have the Odawara. We're not even dead if they have it though, right? It's only seven it's only eight damage. We're not even dead if they have Odawara. Tweet it with is the stack empty. Yeah, that's a good one. I like that. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> yeah. All right. You're just going to die to it next turn. I guess I'll crew this. I don't think it matters, but. And they don't have outs. I don't know. They have no cards in hand. They don't have any outs. I'm just going to cast it again. Did I just come back for some stack empty memeing? I played Shieldred and then played a second spell when they had three Shredders and play at seven life to force them to just take six damage. Well, it's not as fun to part Helion them, but I could just kill them with Shred with the Shieldred, right? Uh, the stack is confirmed, not empty. Good tweet. I need my clout. Dude, Bat is such a oh, it's such a goaded emote. More people need to use Bat. Hmm. Keep, but this is kind of a weird hand to sequence. I think I'm going to go Thoughtseize on one, and then if they play Shredder, I can just go tap land push. And then just kind of play a turn behind. All right, well, what if they don't have a Shredder? Just take Cruise. Only worry about trying to make a dedicated Esper midrange deck is that your deck is always kind of with be in blue, black, X, and Pyo. Well, the thing about blue, black that, like, just the color blue in general that has always been it. The, like, the biggest reason to play those blue mid-range decks is Treasure Cruise. So, and that's like the edge you get against Rakdos. He discarded Chart, of course. We know they have these three in hand. Not a bad draw. Should we take their land? It's honestly not that bad to take their land. It's either that or Fiery Impulse. I don't know if that's right. <laughs> Card on top. So now we kind of have to play Informant, because if I play Indulgence, they're just going to dispute it. I need to find a land here, though. Okay. Land's not bad. I don't think I need this extra push. Wish I had a, uh, a hearse. <clears throat> Tivar fighting a completed Tybalt. Are they completing Tybalt? Oh, not by Tybalt. I didn't see it. Hey, they didn't play a land. Um, hmm. Kind of just want to attack. Probably not going to fire off Impulse. I certainly don't want to cast the Dispute into, or excuse me, the Rafine into Dispute. So I'm just going to play Takanuma and pass. I can hold up Double Indulgence here. Sculpt a little bit. I think they played this Opt. So we only know about Dispute. Put a card on top. Probably a land. Okay. Brought in Brotherhood's End? I guess just to clean up my small creatures. Oh, is that part of a leak? I didn't know that was part of a leak. I just thought that was, like, the storyline. They chose Pieces Axe. Oh, you're talking about another one. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, no leaks, please. I don't know if that was, like, a storyline thing or something. Okay, now we can go Thoughties Take Dispute, play Rafine. I guess we know they have Axe, which makes it kind of awkward. Okay, that's actually pretty good, because now I can go Thoughties, take Dispute, play Rafine, and... This is... <clears throat> yeah, we dropped the first league. So if I take Dispute and play Rafine, they're just going to Pieces. But if I take Pieces, play Rafine, they Dispute, and they still have Axe for Shieldred. If I take Pieces, do you think they'll Dispute my Evangel? This would be really good for me if they did. They probably won't. I think I'm supposed to take pieces. The rest of their hand is just all one-for-ones. 
All right, I'm going to take pieces. I'm going to take pieces, but not play the Rafine. I'm just going to play Evangel. I did not dispute it. I'm going to keep the push in case they draw Shredder. So I really need to have that for Shredder. Yeah. Dispute a Braid Axe. Please do not draw a Treasure Cruise. Thank you. So... I guess I could also just wait. And then if I draw land 6, just play the Rafine. I mean, chill in here when... When they have Cruise in their deck, it's not the best, but... Drawing a land's kind of nice. Carhelion. Alright, sticking to my plan. I don't know if this is a good plan, but... It's a plan. So, maybe they dispute this? X a braid. I'm gonna play Grease Fang here. Because they have more answers to Grease Fang. It's, it's the card that, you know, every card in their hand answers Grease Fang. Whereas, like, if I... I don't know, I guess that's the same thing with Rafine, but... Okay, they drew another Impulse. So, Axe of Braid Dispute still in hand. So yeah, if I draw a land, we can Rafine. Okay, we can also Rafine now, that's fine. Just get it Disputed. Sack for 3... 17, I'm sure they're not going to Braid it. And then, hopefully, they end up Lightning Axing the second Rafine, and then we can just Slam Shieldred. That's our plan. We keep drawing lands, that's good for us. Okay, we'll play around Dispute. White, blue, black. They could also abrade the Informant and not cast the Axe. Which it looks like that's what they're going to do. Alright, you can go. So their last, they have Lightning Axe plus one unknown. We want them to Axe this Rafine. Let's go to combat. Uh, I'm actually going to discard push, because I want to pump this up to 6 toughness if they're going to let me. So they can't even axe it at that point. We can cycle the tower. I'm still not playing Shieldred into the Lightning Axe. I don't know, I played this game kind of weird. I could have just taken the Dispute. But then they get they get the 2 for 1 off pieces. That was the that was the reason I wanted to take pieces that, that turn that I did. Alright, looks like they're going to cast Axe. So we can maybe jam Shieldred next turn. I mean, it's pretty fortunate for us that they've gone this many cards and haven't <laughs> found a second cruise. Like, they've just drawn, like, 17 lands in a row. Uh, Shieldred first to play around Dispute, because that one's more important to resolve, I think. And then I guess I'll just play the Hearse post-combat. Alright, go. No Landing Axe. Pog. So now if they draw a cruise, they have to pay 6 life. It's pretty good for us. Okay. Uh, I guess... They don't have any Phoenixes. Does it matter what we eat? I'm just gonna pick two cards at random. I don't think it matters. Tell me... I'm gonna save my lands. So I could potentially discard lands to, um... Rafine if we were to draw it. Mm -mm. What if you want to dis del discuss a delicious leek soup? I mean, leek soup is nice. Potato and leek soup? Wild game. <laughs> it's turn four. G. Just giving you more good things to do with Release to the Winds. Okay, no lands. I mean, we already discussed that where this deck is a land short of where it needs to be, so... If you're looking to play this in the future, I would recommend adding a land. As a wise Fran once said... Up, JS. We uh, dropped the first league in our 2-0 in the second league. Or Sauce on top. Yeah, you could do, like, Sauce as the last layer. And that would uh, probably help the dryness a little bit. That is one thing I will say. I think in a general sense, people don't people don't usually play enough lands. And I'm I'm a victim of that too. I tend to like I tend to get pretty greedy when I'm when I'm building decks. I'm like I just what if we just shave a land, you know? But the reality is the cards that they've printed and you know the the cards that are are towards the top of the format, um especially with some of the lands, like they just they give you so much flexibility. And you just have so many, you have so many things to do with your mana at all points in the game, that in general it's just a lot better to just play another land, you know, because the land you're adding is like a Takanuma or an Odawara or a Cycle Land, you know. Tilt. 
are overplayed. I think they're, I, in relative to their power level, I think they're underplayed. Maybe that's a hot take, but. Hmm. Shit, their hand's really good. Okay, I think my plan is take Murderous Rider, play Grease Fang, and then if I rip Parhelion, I can push. Or I guess Thoughtseize myself, but I can, like, push Trespasser, use the discard trigger to discard Parhelion. Maybe a bit of a gamble, but... Oh, wait, I'm stupid. <laughs> I thought I had three more mana to, to this turn. Okay, whoops. Okay, that was dumb. Well, I guess I just paid two life for no reason then. <laughs> I guess I wanted to hold a fatal push. Yeah, that was bad. For some reason, I thought I had one extra mana than I did. So they have Shadow Push. I always assume that people are prefer to have the more powerful but also less reliable deck to make up for skill. Well, I mean, it depends on your skill at your skill level, right? I think, you know, a lot of newer players will gravitate towards those kinds of decks, but it all depends on where, where you at where you are at in terms of skill level. Good chump block fatal push, but then I lose the line of like using this as a discard outlet. And I can also just push their shadow. I don't think I'm gonna push the shadow this turn though. Oh fuck me. Classic Thoughtseize bug. All right, Grease Fang, Prage. Yeah, we're about to be down a game against Mono Black, though. <laughs> Classic Thoughtseize, take Shieldred, immediately draw. I swear to God, like, put me on record. Clip it, ship it, do whatever the fuck you want. It's a bug. I'm telling you. You know, this is not some kind of tinfoil hat, you know, NASA Area 51 kind of thing. It's literally a bug. It is factually, just deterministically a bug. Can I, I don't think I can afford to take this hit. Alright, next game. Actually, I can, can't can stay away the... Okay, I can, can't stay with the Evangel. Right, and draw exactly Parhelion. That is not exactly Parhelion. Okay, okay, okay. Mono Black. This may be a, a Wandering Imp or a Shieldred kind of matchup. None of these other cards really excite me that much. I kind of want to cut Thoughtseize. I think I want to try something like this. I like Pierce. Can't Stay is a little bit worse against Graveyard Trespasser. Shieldred Invoke Gary. Could be, it could be a Stroke matchup. Maybe that's better than Can't Stay Away. Yeah. Can't Stay Away is generally like not really where you want to be against Trespasser. Yeah, I'm with you there. Okay, we could try that. I don't like the discard spells. Go blank is maybe interesting, but they're not really using the graveyard that much. So we'll just do this. But I, I tend to I tend to not like discard spells in these kind of mid range matchups. Like I would cut all my thought pieces against Rakdos. It's weird though because you try to become a mid range deck post board, but you're a lot worse at doing the mid range thing than they are in almost every circumstance. So maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know. Well, it's weird though, right? Because you're never going to mid-range as much as they mid-range. This hand's good. Do I shock on turn one to play around Thoughtseize? It's probably worth it. I mean, what's two life these days? The answer to that question is, well, two life. But I could be representing a cantrip. They don't know it's spell pierce. Let's go Evangel. Drop Parhelion, make it easy. I know discarding a third, discarding my fourth land with Shieldred is kind of bad, but I also have this, so. Like, I think what's probably going to happen is I'm going to go Indulgence, hold up Pierce. Or, you know, hold up Indulgence and Pierce next turn. And I'm very likely to hit my land drop when I get that many more looks at it. I guess I could main phase Indulgence for the point of damage. New plan. Here. Uh, no, and I'll be honest with you, Rixist, I haven't really seen a ton of mono green lately. I guess we play. I think we played it against it twice last night, or not last night, but the night before. Last time I played Pioneer, but it's definitely been on the decline as of late, which is a good thing. I think it's it's good for the format. It's definitely not dead. Like it, there was still, I think, six copies in the top thirty-two of the showcase, and it was the most represented deck in the top thirty-two. But there were zero copies in top eight, so I think I'm okay if they take Indulgence. Like they're almost one hundred percent taking Shieldred. I'm not going to cast the Indulgence. And I think I'm pretty happy if they do. Janky Jun mid-range. 
So you just want to play modern then. They did take the indulgence. So I guess they have a removal spell for Shieldred. I'll just go Grease Fang hold up Pierce. This is probably a Grease Fang hold up Pierce kind of that kind of line. Well. Chunk for two. What about new Lisco Gari vehicles? I think it's good. <clears throat> Still working on kind of like what three drop you want to play. I'm not the biggest fan of Briar Bridge Tracker, but I haven't found a suitable replacement for it yet, so we're just gonna stick with that for now. But I do I do think that Thoughtseize and Fatal Push are I don't know if they're necessarily like a strict upgrade to the red cards, because Reckless Stormseeker is a hell of a card. But it's good. It's very good. What is Jun Run in Modern these days? I think they're mostly a Saga deck, right, Jun Saga? That's fine. I could double pierce that, but maybe I was supposed to just play the Shieldred and just ignore them having a removal spell. Because now if they have a 2 meter removal spell, they can play around the pierce anyways. Like, I was thinking about a world where... Alright, well, this sucks. I have to, I have to pierce this. I have to double pierce and then just slam the shielder next turn. Yeah, I guess I punted by not. Oh. Sure. Okay with that. I guess if their removal spell is Murderous Rider, it kind of works out for us. If we draw a land, of course. Uh, I'm just going to play Shieldred. Just want to be a bit man efficient. It's pretty likely they have a power board kill in hand, but just got to go for it. Unsurprisingly. Yeah, so we couldn't do anything about that anyways. Because even if I drew a land, they would be able to pay for Pierce. It's pretty bad, too. Kind of just getting worked. Seems like a tough matchup. Kind of got like a little beatdown plan going on. Let's have another push. Okay, no push is good. Because if they don't attack, we can just go verse and then slam for seven. They have shielded, we can upkeep, kill the shielded. I kind of want to work on that goblin's deck with Fable. That sounds like such a good idea. Okay, vanishing verse, kek by. Okay, cantrip to turn on the evangel would be nice. Exactly what I'm looking for. Uh, Alright, attack for three. <clears throat> Guild the Trespasser next turn, so it's not the end of the world. Vice World Champions are guys like Matthias Shadow on a regular basis. It's reliable deck to make up for skill gap. You just go wrong with, say, 100 matches. Yeah, yeah, I gotcha. It's from Turtle Power. Oh, was it? Okay. Now, we, uh, we ran a new league. We ran it back. Alright, JS, good luck. Have fun, buddy. Enjoy. Now what? They're both problematic. Okay, this is going to look kind of weird, but I actually think I'm supposed to upkeep... Ah, oh man. Upkeep Kill Glutton is bad if I draw Rafine. Excuse me, Kill Shieldred, because I kind of want to do it upkeep so that if I draw a two-mana spell, I can flip the Glutton. But I don't know if that's good. I do have to kill the Shieldred. I'm, I'm just trying to think if I want to do an upkeep or not to try and flip the Glutton. Yeah, but, like, if I flip the Glutton, then the next turn I can attack. But not if they just pass. So, yeah, I should just do it now. Because if I if I flip, they just pass back with, like, with the Hive up, right? And then I still can't attack the turn after. It's just so much better if I draw Rafine. Or Watery Grave. Keeping that in hand so if I draw another removal spell, I can pay for the Glutton. This really seems like a, a horrible matchup for me. Okay. <laughs> Please attack. I will... Fastest double block of my life. Yeah, good beats. But it, I am... I'm definitely going to put that card in the in the Incarnation deck. I think it's crazy in that deck. It's always kind of awkward when you don't have Watery Grave 
and you have Spell Pierce Fatal Push because you have to decide which one you want to hold up on turn one. I think because Spell Pierce gets much gets Spell Pierce is worse as the game progresses and Fatal Push is almost always good, assuming that it's good in the matchup. That I'd rather get I'd rather get use out of my Spell Pierce early on than Fatal Push. That's at least the the, the logic behind holding up Pierce instead of Push immediately punished. Okay, well hopefully we can. Hopefully we get to Pierce, um, like a Love Struck Beast or something. Are you hoping to hit turn one? Mostly Thoughtseize. But again, it's it's one of those things where Fatal Push is almost never a dead draw, whereas Spell Pierce gets worse as the game progresses. So that's like the logic behind doing it that way. So this is kind of weird. If I Thoughtseize, I can't Indulgence. And I think Indulgencing is just better, so I'm going to hold up Indulgence Spell Pierce. Not that I think I'm going to get to hit anything with Spell Pierce this turn, but I'll probably get to hit a Cherry next turn, which is good. And also, if they tap out for Love Struck Beast, they may draw a parking lane, then they die, so... But yeah, I cannot wait to put Illustorn into the Incarnation deck. I think it's so insane in that deck. Hmm. This is probably a discard Botsy's angle. Yeah. What does this do again? Hmm. I think Evangel hold up Pierce for Chariot's good. I could also Fatal Push their 1-1 their one, one, and just hope that they can't attack with the Love Struck Beast. But then I'm not doing anything else with the rest of my mana. All right, I think we're going to get rid of the Charm. And then hopefully Spell Pierce a Chariot this turn. And then we could still Inform... The nice thing about Informant is we can actually go inform and push next turn. So if we drop Parhelion, we can go inform and discard Parhelion, push their human token after piercing their chariot. So that'll be a good spot to be. Assuming that they actually play the chariot this turn. I, I agree with you, Glory Fades. The consistency that both Seder Wayfinder and Grizzly Salvage provide, I, I agree with you. I'm not saying this is a better Grease Fang deck. I think it's different, and I think that Rafine is arguably more powerful than a Seekus Chariot when you're not doing Grease Fang things. And that's kind of the draw to playing a deck like this, but... But no, I agree with you. As it stands, I think Abzan is the better deck. But I think Rafine is, you know, the best plan B out of, you know, anything that you could possibly put in the Grease Fang decks. It just happens to be that Chariot works better with plan A because Chariot gets, gets, you know, reanimated by Grease Fang. So it's like... You have to figure out where exactly you want to be on that spectrum. But we were talking about just building uh, just like a fair Esper mid-range deck because Rafine is just that good. So we're thinking like Thoughtseize, Fatal Push, Rafine, Ledger Shredder, and Treasure Cruise. That's like the core. And then just, you know, go from there. What do you take out from the deck? What do you put in the Elishnorn? Probably the main deck Karuga. But you might also want to play Karuga with the Elishnorn, so. But you probably cut one of the five drops. Finding the vehicle. Uh, should I attack? So I think my plan is push the pack leader and hope, just pray to God that I can double block the love struck beast. Because I don't want them drawing a card off the pack leader. Well, the nice thing about it in Energar is all of the five drops are pretty cheap. Outside of some people play an Elder Gargaroth, I don't like the Gargaroth. I think it's kind of bad. You want your five drops to really have, like, enters the battlefield triggers because you're getting them at end of turn, you know? Like, you're not getting Gargaroth and immediately attacking with it. This is rough. Mm. Any other spicy cards? Well, we're not discussing leaks on the channel, so only the officially spoiled cards so far. Which I don't think there is really much else other than Elishnorn. <laughs> you can't make it up, right? I cast Tainted Indulgence, then Evangel, then Informant, then Informant, and after I've cast all of my cantrips, then I draw Parhelion. Word. Classic lol W. It's like you know you're having a bad you know you're having a bad night when that shit happens. You can't you just can't make stuff like that up. 
We're honestly still not in that bad of a spot if they have nothing. They don't have nothing. Or 12. Do I have any outs? Hmm. My out is can't stay away into informant and then draw the other can't stay away, discard Barhelion, can't stay away, Grease Fang, kill them. That's my only out, I think. So I guess I'll play towards that out. Oh, I guess Indulgence for Can't Stay Away works too, right? I guess Informant for Can't Stay Away works too. Okay, alright. Oh no, we only have one black. So we have to draw Untapped Black Source and Can't Stay Away. Surely we can do it, right? Close. Very, very close. Can I survive? No, because they have boat. The new set, I think, is releasing in th three weeks? Don't quote me on that, though. Yeah, Black Source Grease Fang got there, too. Yeah. I guess we had a decent number of outs. Hmm. I don't think I like Spell Peers. I'm trying to think of what their sideboard is. They have a lot of Rending Volleys, which means I kind of want Duress. Just max discard spells. Shieldred is decent-ish, but it's kind of bad if they keep it at Grown War. Which I don't know if they're going to do or not. Yeah, I'm just going to run it like this. And keep them off of uh, Rending Volley. It's the best card they have in their sideboard. I guess they also sometimes have Hearse, but... Which I guess I could bring in Fracture for... Cut Can't Stay Away? Uh, can't Stay Away is too good against, uh, against Rending Volley. Yeah, Fracture's nice. Underplayed card. Mostly just because Black White is just not that good. Alright, let's run this. It's very painful, but let's run it. So I could have played the Takanuma there. Alright, give me a Grease Fang, please. They'll tap out. I don't know what they'll tap out for, but... Elf, hold up, Beseju. Um, let's play Rafine. I guess if I Rafine, they can boat me. But they can't kill the Rafine with the boat. So I think this is okay. Oh, I guess they could just volley the Rafine, huh? Sure. I do have a second copy, so it's not the end of the world. It's probably okay. I like how I didn't have Fatal Push in my opening hand when it was the only opportunity to cast it if I wanted to curve out, and then I drew back-to-back -back pushes. <laughs> just, like, more stuff that you can't really make up, you know? It's just hilarious. We are Fiend. I've always great. I think I like Rafine here. What else can we do? We can Fatal Push, like, a cat and an elf. Seem that good, though. This gets me closer to Grease Fang. I think I'm just going to try and find Grease Fang. It's, like, my only out. I think I'm casting this Obscure Charm. Maybe they'll block for no reason. Deal! This is not a good block. I don't know. They Why would they make this block? Yeah, their chariot just doesn't really do that much. I guess they could have a second chariot. It's the only thing that would make sense. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, I don't understand that block at all. They should just take four there. Mind if I post the first draft of an Esper midrange deck? Yeah, you can, you can post it. That's fine. I'll take a look. We have it on the mind, so... Vangel, Shredder, Shadow, Rafine, Shieldred, Push, Thoughties, Go, Cruise, Wedding Announcement. I think I'd play... I'd play the other removal spell over Go for the Throat. What's it called? Power Word Kill. I'm at nine, huh? Hmm. Attack first. Okay. We got a 12. Then I can... I'm just trying to think if it's even worth dressing. I think we start with Evangel... I could just cast that next turn if I draw land, right? Let's discard Duress, play Hallowed Fountain tapped, and just pass with push up. These lands have sucked. Well, there's only one of each. We just happen to draw both of them, you know? It's so, like this, these last two matches have been like a series of unfortunate events, you know? Like game one, where I cantripped five times and didn't see a Parhelion, and the last turn after I've cast all my cantrips, I drew Parhelion. 
this game we opened on both of our two pain lands, you know, just like this whole league has been very, very unfortunate situations. But that's why you play all of the games. Because you get these weird, you know, this is these are the content games. You like you go back and you watch and it's like, how did I lose that game? Oh, okay. Everything that possibly had to go or could go wrong did go wrong. Okay. Be crewing. <clears throat> they crew, I can chump block and then push the chariot. And then if I rip a land, I can boat the Stormseeker. It should attack with everything, I think. Because I'm not going to block an elf and go to three. Unless they have a spell to cast, but. What is this? I have Embercleave. Funny enough, I can let first strike damage happen and then push the chariot. So, Cleave resolves. First strike damage. And then before regular damage. All right, Grease Fang, please. I'm at five. Why? Why? Why do I even bother? <laughs> uh, oh, this whole league, man. This whole league. If I attack, what can I draw? If I attack and draw an untapped land, I'm just dead on board. Right? They just have 6 damage. I also have the lair. I could draw another removal spell. I guess. Could also, like, post-combat Grease Fang. Can Legend rule my Rafine. Then push and still die. Man. Discard Rafine. Push this. Equip. Block here. You get all of your Amaranth content at twitch.tv slash doomlake. Did you ever think of that? Alright, this is like the fourth time I've played against this person in the last three days. They're always playing mono green. Uh, this hand's very good against green. For the right price, I do. As long as we don't get turn three carned. Uh... Hmm. Ooh, they don't have Karn. Let's go! You only give your Prime sub to smaller streamers? Well, thank you. I appreciate it. That's very nice of you. That's very, very kind of you. Oh, no. Not like this. Land, please. Uh... <laughs> this league has been so rough. All right, draw land. This league has been so rough. Ugh. God, dude. I can't get a break. But I discard Fang. I guess I could have. Oh, right, because I have Can't Stay Away. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, I should have discarded Fang. Although, I think I'm dying anyways. I should have discarded Grease Fang. We lost anyways. Oh, man. I just want to catch a break. I just want to catch a break. Hmm. What is the last cut? Maybe the third Rafine? Rafine's kind of slow in this matchup. I just want every possible answer to Karn. I guess I didn't bring in Fracture. I have. I already have a lot of answers to Karn, though. I have Spell Pierce, Duress Thoughtseize, and Stroke. That's a lot. Maybe I, I might have too many answers in my deck. Because now I just get hands like this, you know? What's up, TP? I don't think this hand's good. Like, you just have to mold to a fast combo. Or you just mold to five because you have no lands. Sure, I guess. So... Uh, we have push for elf. So I guess I take elf and then push elf. And not an awful draw step. He plays a retro game from the last millennia, and hundreds of people are awestruck by his re 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 his resilience to frustration. <laughs> I don't know if I'm necessarily resilient to frustration. That's not how I would describe myself, but... I should maybe just name Kiora there. Not sure. I would have also named Besaidu. <laughs> that might have been the correct name. TBH. 
So they have OGT Storm Besaju as their three guards. <clears throat> I notice every single person in chat, sub or non-sub. I do my best. Mm, okay, cycle. I should play my land first, actually, because if I hit Thoughtseize... Yeah. Should leave up Watery Grave, because Thoughtseize and Spell Pierce. I could just draw more lands. Why are you throwing a tomato at me? Cruise is legal, yeah. Okay. They still have Besaju. Oh, no, they played the Besaju. Yeah, okay. So now they have Storm plus Forest. Just Storm. Odd check any Grease Fangs. That's bad. Wait, they boarded into Haywire Might? Why? Seems terrible. Too many tomatoes. <laughs> yeah, you went. Man. Very, very, very frustrating league. It really sucks, too, because, like, I think this deck's good, but we just got, it. like, I feel like we got absurdly unlucky those last couple of matches. Uh, maybe not as unlucky against the, the Mono Green opponent, but, like, round three and round four, I think, were, like, we multiplied five a bunch... There was that one game where we, like, cast all of our cantrips and then eventually found a Parhelion after the fact, so... I don't know. Tough league. I think it acts good, but... Like, all those games were pretty close for the most part. I think about Martyr Grease Fang. I think it's probably worse than Abzan. I, I think at the end of the day, like, all these Grease Fang decks are just going to be worse than Abzan. Ha 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 